this started with my my passion for being on the water. Uh, and, you know, I've had the family cottage up in the Kawarthas for as long as I've been around. And after my last uh, venture, where I was uh, one of the co-founders at Arion Labs, we started with a tech entrepreneurship, commercializing drone tech really early out of the University of Waterloo. Had a successful exit from that in 2019. Um, had a bit of time to get back to the cottage life. Wanted to get out on the water. And just felt this huge disconnect between that clean tech experience that we now have in the automotive space, driving EVs. I never go to the gas station. I never have to change my oil. Found myself wanting to get out on the water at the lake. And now I'm driving my EV to the gas station to buy gas for the boat. Right. Uh, I need to do an oil change. And, and I said, why, why don't we have the same thing happening in boating that we do in automotive, where everything is clean tech? Uh, we're not polluting the environment, especially uh, when we're out on that crystal clear lake um, and we're seeing people emitting gas and oil into the lake whenever anybody's filling up their boat with a jerry can you get this oil slick at the end of the dock yeah. um, and I wanted to solve that and I really saw this awesome opportunity to take some of the experience that we had um, from the drone space and the engineering and the development there which translates directly into the marine space where we can build clean tech solutions bring the experience that we had there uh, for, for a better experience for boating and, uh, and really to look after the environment as well. So we've been working at this for about five years uh, in the marine space, but really building a lot on the last 20 years of experience that we've had uh, from electrification and flight control in, uh, in the drone space. The intersection there really came from my understanding that uh, when we got into marine electrification, and the reason that only about 2% of boats today are electric, is because it takes so much power to push a boat through the water um, compared to driving a car down the road. So just replacing the drivetrain, uh, which would be fairly straightforward and you can put an electric outboard on your boat, doesn't give very good performance uh, because you end up with really limited range and limited speed because it takes so much power. And it was that intersection of the, you know, the decades of experience that we had in the drone space and understanding flight control, performance, optimization, uh, building a boat which could fly over the surface of the water with a hydrofoil is really the innovation that we're bringing here. And, uh, and that's been in the works for decades. We really feel like that, that hydrofoiling high performance boat is really going to uh, you know, reset the expectations of what electric can be on mm -hmm. the water. It's, 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 it's better in every dimension.